it's not uncommon in the float industry to hear somebody say that you don't have to worry about anything being inside of the water because nothing can survive um, the salt content that's inside of the water. This cup right here is proof that that statement is wrong. This water right here has been in circulation at 95 degrees at 1.3 specific gravity for about three months with no filter, no ozone, chlorine, bromine, or hydrogen peroxide inside of it. Just straight high salt content in circulation. This is that same water, only it has been filtered out in a high quality filter for about four hours. Um, during the three months with this one, in the filtering system, we had some vinyl hosing hooked up, and you can see how that, what we think it is, is biofilm, is stuck inside of the hose. And it latches on to pretty much anything it can inside your filtering system and stays there. And it's a really hard to get out unless you actually just scrape it off. If you scrape it off, it's really easy. Um, if you ever do it with your finger, um, it'll turn like a reddish brown color. But what we wanted to do was do a quick test and see how things react. So we set up this quick little test and we're going to do that right now. We took one piece of hose, cut it into four pieces and we're going to try it with 6% cleaning vinegar, uh, regular bleach, 70% alcohol and 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide. What we're going to do is put a few drops on each hose and then whatever is left over will go inside this dirty water that comes from this dirty water right here. It's two tablespoons inside of each cup there and each container that holds the chemicals that we're going to use has a half a teaspoon inside of it. So put three drops here, the rest of it will go in here and it'll all be a half a teaspoon roughly in each two tablespoons of dirty water. And we're going to time it just to see what happens and how things react. Four minutes in, I took off the light so you can get a better idea of what each cup looks like. And you can see that the hydrogen peroxide is clearer than any of the other ones. It is the one that's cleared up the most. The vinegar looks like it may be in second. And bleach and alcohol, I really can't tell too much of a difference at all. But the hydrogen peroxide is definitely clear did a really good job. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take a paper towel and I'm going to wipe off each one of these. Okay, so I did a wipe down on each one and essentially just wiping it off, especially when it's dry, seems to eliminate most of the biofilm, or what I think is biofilm, um, just as is. You don't really need any chemicals or anything like that. They all pretty much were about the same. And here's what it looks like on the paper towel. It's kind of a reddish brown color. But going back to the cups, what has the most favorable outcome as far as adding anything to it to make the brown color go away, possibly killing it? Hydrogen peroxide, then vinegar, and alcohol and bleach. I really can't tell the difference, but it seems like regular bleach um, is a little bit better than the alcohol, which makes sense. But that is just a quick, quick test to see how everything fares up. And let everybody know that as far as nothing being able to live inside of salt water, it's completely untrue.